Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to probably the last video for this autumn sale, Steam Autumn Sale. Now I'll be doing the stream later today, um, a few hours before this ends this sale. So expect it around 7 p.m. ish India time. So yeah, very early in the US if you are from the US. And also wanted to thank the people who came up with name suggestions for this video because I couldn't decide. I uh, finally settled for hidden gems. I think that makes uh, the most sense for this one. It's also easier for the YouTube and stuff. So, all right, let's get into these hidden gems. First up is Opus Magnum. This is a puzzle game. Um, it's got a bit of uh, programming to it, you could say. So, it may seem complicated, but it's actually not. It's... Basically, it shows you how to do certain things, uh, sort of like programming. And you have to enter these commands here, drag and drop them and put them here. And you have to come up with formulas. And then you have to, you know, play it to see how it works out. And you have to, like, achieve certain uh, targets. Basically, you are making potions and stuff like that. That's the story behind it. Very interesting game, very rewarding game. So as you can see here, programming, logic, automation. This is made by the same people who made Shenzhen IO. So I recommend if you are of this sort of mind to check this out because I kind of liked it. 50% off, 264 uh, rupees, 999 dollars, 774 pounds and 839 euros. There is a decent tutorial at the start. So if you complete the tutorial, you'll understand how to, you know, play the game or, you know, do the programming. And that will make life a lot easier. I think it's like tutorials, like a full chapter with like 10 parts or something. Next up is Primordia. So this is a point and click adventure game, post-apocalyptic setting. Now I grew up with a lot of point and click adventure games. Now most of them were difficult. I couldn't make sense of them. And I had to look up guides to finish them, but I enjoyed them back in the late nineties and Early 2000s stuff like Siberia or like the Adventures of Monkey Island, things like that. So this is sort of that setting. Uh, it's got basically a story is man is no longer around and you have these robots and stuff going around um, in a like a dying world talking and chatting. So very different setting. This is 70% off, 110 rupees, 299 dollars, 2 pound and 9 Hence, 299 euros. I have mentioned this game quite a lot in the past, but haven't done so more recently. Black Mesa. So this is not really a hidden gem, let's be honest. This is uh, a remake of the first Half-Life game. So if, if you haven't played the original Half-Life from 98, and you think the graphics are too old and you want to get into it, you could experience the whole thing again through this one. And this is quite uh, well done what they've done is basically most of the game they have kept it original to the half-life game so it's exactly the same but apart from one or two minor changes graphically it looks much better the ending sections the i don't want to spoil it but last four chapters happen somewhere else and that's what they have redone quite a lot so yeah i, I really enjoyed it i streamed it like all the way through on the channel here last year early last year when it came out of early access it was in early access for years but i waited and at the end it was satisfying you can see here overwhelmingly positive reviews this is 60 percent off 212 rupees 799 dollars 599 pounds and 599 euros Next is uh, a nice little indie game. This is Russian Subway Dogs. So basically, this is based on the real-life Subway Dogs of uh, Moscow. Um, there are dogs, and these are like real dogs, that take the subway every day, go to a station. They know where people will be giving them food. They take the food, and then they take the subway and go back, basically. This is like uh, based on that real-life thing. So... Yeah, it's a very simple, cutesy looking game. You go into each subway, you collect food that people drop and stuff like that. And I think they have like added cats and stuff later as well. I did stream a little bit of this a while ago when it came out because the devs had sent me a key. So yeah, if you want a nice cutesy game, check this out. 
This is 55% off 206 rupees, 674 dollars, 512 pounds and 562 euros. Next is Art of Rally. So this is a more recent game, came out last year. And I did cover this because the dev had sent me a key. This looks very beautiful, as you can see here. It's a rally game. It's actually a rally sim. It's not like a casual arcade game. Uh, there are lots of cars. And they don't use the real names, but you know which of these famous cars they are. And you just uh, drive them, and it looks amazing. And it feels even better to drive. So you have this uh, sort of isometric style of view. And you have courses, and you drive around them. There's a bit of practice as well available to get familiar. And yeah, it's a very nice game. It is made by the same developer as, in, I think it's called Inertial Drift. I think it was free on Epic last year. So it's a follow-up to that game. It's a very nice game. I really like it. 35% off, 369 rupees, $1624, dollars 1266 pounds, and 1364 euros. Next is Shift Quantum, a cyber noir puzzle game. So... As the name suggests, it's a puzzle game. And the unique mechanic is you basically shift uh, the whole thing upside down. So here, you're standing here. This is like a black box. And when you shift it, you become on the inside and the white becomes black and the other way around. And if you use that logic, hopefully it made sense, to solve these puzzles and get past these. So you can see here, this has been shifted or flipped or whatever. And then you can go around much more easily like for example these will be spikes when it's black so you can't jump over it but you flip it over and then you jump across or something so yeah that's that's how you play this game and i i found it interesting this is 70 percent off 158 rupees 599 dollars 449 pounds and 599 euros now i may be wrong but i think this might have been free on epic I'm not sure yeah let me know if it has been free I, I do get a feeling like I may have seen this for free. Next is another recent game that came out this year. This is Peace of Maravilla Island. This is a very relaxing exploration game. So people compare this to Pokemon Snap, which is basically you going around taking pictures. This is basically the same concept. You go to like a very strange magical island and then you take pictures of the creatures there and that three four levels here that you explore and you have to take a certain number of pictures of all the different animals so not a very long game it's just the whole purpose is take a nice relaxing casual game exploration it's like two hours long probably and i played it and i've finished it in one stream and yeah it was it was fun i liked it it was just a nice sort of uh, change from the usual stuff so this is 30 percent off 244 rupees, 699 dollars, 5 pound and 3 pence and 573 euros. Next is Guns, Gore and Cannoli. So I've covered this game quite a lot, but I don't see people talking about this. And these are one of my favorite series of 2D uh, shooters, basically. There are two games. Um, this is the first one. Second one has, I believe, online co-op as well. This one has local co-op. So basically, what happens is, you are this guy, you are a gangster, a mafioso, Vinny Cannoli, that's his name. And he goes to a place called Thugtown, which is celebrating St. Patrick's Day, you know, when everyone drinks and stuff. And some evil scientist has, you know, spiked the drinks, the alcohol, and everybody's turned into zombies. So you just go through killing hordes and hordes of zombies and trying to figure out what happened, who did all of this, etc. So very fun game, a lot of weapon selection and variety. There's a Magnum in this one, which I absolutely loved. This is 50% off, 184 rupees, $499, £349 and €499. Euros. There's another game coming out from these guys called uh, Tutas Blood and Teeth, uh, set in the Warhammer 40k setting with the same sort of 2D art style. I've been looking forward to this. I think this got delayed. It was supposed to come out this year. So yeah, I'll pick it up whenever this drops. Next is Fury Unleashed, one of my favorite games from last year. Uh, this is a roguelike 
fast paced uh, 2D shooter once again, platformer. And the game is set uh, in the pages of a comic book. I don't know if there is like a picture of it. So basically each level is a page of the comic and you start from like the top left and then you have to make your way to the bottom right of the second page. Basically, if you open the book in the middle and you have two pages, you start from the top left and get to the bottom right. And you can go in any direction you want. You could just skip and go straight to the end or you can just go and clear every panel and yeah, a lot of weapons, a lot of enemies. There are three chapters. I don't know if they've added more since I played it. And each chapter has three, like, smaller... No, there's three books, let's say, three comics. And each comic has three chapters. At the end, there's a boss fight. So, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this game. Very fun game. Very fluid. Works beautifully with the controller. And, yeah you can play this in co-op and they have added online co-op recently as well so hopefully i'll try and play this soon with someone final recommendation is another one that you may have seen me mention a lot and this is bullets per minute a rhythm fps and in my opinion one of the best games i've ever played this is basically you are a valkyrie going through viking hell you have guns and you have to shoot these creatures these uh, monsters and um demons or whatever in sync to the music so you can't shoot just randomly shoot you have to time it to the music in the background and you can only shoot and reload uh, in sync to the music so that makes it challenging and it makes it a lot of fun and very satisfying as well i've still not finished this even though i've played i think more than 20 hours or something because i want to play it and finish it on the hardest difficulty because that is the most satisfying if you turn down the difficulty then it's not, uh, it defeats the purpose of the game, I feel. So, yeah, and it's also on a good sale, so I thought I'll mention this. 40% off, 317 rupees, $11.99, $9.29 pounds, and 10 euros and 7 cents. Yeah, I love this. I said this was my favorite game of last year. So, yeah, that's it for uh, this uh, video of Hidden Gems, you could say. Uh, I'll catch you in the evening where we can you know, pick through and find even more last minute deals. And yeah, see you then.